Hello, Radiant Light. Happy April. It's wonderful to connect with you. If you happen to be new, welcome. I'm Michelle. And those of you that have been traveling with me on the soul path, it's always great to connect with you. We're going to be looking at what's coming up for you in April. There are a lot of changes. Many of you may know we are in the start of eclipse season, uh, which started with the penumbral uh, eclipse in Libra on March 25th. Um, so we have a lot of shifting going on. So I really want to connect into what's changing, maybe even why, um, get some insights and guidance. And I know so many of you come to readings for confirmations. You're so aligned um, to your intuition, to your soul, and you're really, um, a lot of you very psychic and um, intuitive. So let's uh, tune in. Oh, and if you are new, I tune into Soul Stories. Um, everything's a story, right? And we're kind of editing our stories right now in our life. Uh, so much abundance coming, so many changes, so many people really aligning to their soul. There is a lot of change uh, through the planets. We can see it, the planetary changes that are taking place, um, as well as the universal or cosmic changes through the psychic trends, um, which simply means the soul trends, what the, what the soul of each of us and the soul of the universe is wanting. So if you are new, um, I do a tune-in or alignment meditation, but you can skip ahead. You don't have to stay for that. Uh, we'll get a bit of a closer look at the cards. I'll do an attuning and aligning uh, more to the frequencies as I'm coming to the cards. I meditate beforehand, but I do another meditation and invite you to join me if you want to. Um, and then we'll get to the individual readings. All the um, timestamps are in the description box as well as ways to connect with me. Some of you have asked about re private readings with me or you've asked um, about the Patreon, the Soul Path community and um, Soul Study uh, program and community and other things that I have going on. All of that is in the description box. There are links there. All right, let's get to the Soul Stories. Let's get a little bit closer okay so for soul story number one you have a pink agate kind of a magenta now there's a lot of mystery so the cards are not turned over soul story number two you have a red orange agate soul story number three and trust your intuition you have a blue agate Soul story number four, you have a light green agate. Really trust your intuition. Some of you, maybe more than one soul story that calls you. I would just trust your intuition and go to the card or cards or crystals that call you. Some of you always like number three. I, I kind of get in that mode too sometimes, but I really try to just clear my mind, tune into my body and let my intuition guide me because Sometimes there's more than one message um, in each stack. So soul story number one, number two, number three, and number four. All right, let me know how you like this setup. I'm doing a little bit of a different camera angle, different uh, tripod, so we shall see how this works. Wow, I feel good about April, gotta tell you. All right, I feel a lot of change. All right, so those of you that are staying with me for the meditation, In your own pace and pattern, you're just going to take a deeper breath in. This just consciously aligns you more to your breath. And as you breathe out, uh, let that out breath be a little longer than the in breath inside. You're going to breathe in a little deeper. And then let the out breath be a little longer than the in breath inside. And when you're ready, you're going to breathe in up above the crown chakra. Bring your inner guidance, your inner awareness there. Let your, let your focus be on that inner guidance. It takes the higher perspective that you could see the all-seeing, all-knowing aspect of your being as you connect into the higher self. 
And get comfortable with that connection there, that aspect of you. And as you breathe out, feel that aspect of you within your body, mind. Feel it deep inside. Feel it right inside you as your body has wisdom to give you. The next conscious breath in, breathing in up through the higher self, connecting into the soul star chakra. Pause at the top of your breath and feel an expansion there. Relax into the out breath. Easily and lightly drawing the breath down through the center of your body, out through the chakras at the soles of your feet. Deep into Gaia, deep into Mother Earth, going into the vibrational frequency of the Earth Star Chakra. And feel a rootedness there. And then when you're ready, bring your awareness into that space in between your in-breath and out-breath and center there. Feel a peace and calm inside right there in between your in-breath and out-breath and center there. Take another relaxed, easy breath in. Connecting into the soul light that you are as you breathe out. Radiate that light in front of you. Out into the world, into the universe. And as you breathe back in, feel that ray of light coming back to you. And when you're ready, choose the card or crystals that most reflect what is of most resonance for you. Hello, Soul Light. Welcome to your reading. If you chose Soul Story number one, um, you might have chose more than one soul story because there's a lot. Um, there's a lot of energy coming in for you. If you haven't been feeling like you've had a lot of energy, things are about to pick up. Um, you are sublimating, which means you're taking a lower energy. You're rising above. You're taking lower frequency energy and literally using it. It's a soul shift for you, though. It's not some of it's conscious, but a lot of it is not conscious. What does this mean? This means that something has shifted within your life, within you, right? Within you. There's, there's Some of it's been internal. Some of it's been some external things that have happened that have caused you, whether to heal, really look within, to reevaluate, to prioritize, but all at the guidance of your higher self so that more layers could be released, lessened. Um, it's kind of a liberation is what I'm hearing. So that what, where you were putting your time, your energy, your focus, maybe it was a lower vibrational expression or experience or just deeper healing. Maybe you felt stuck. Whatever that energy was that you were operating from is now being put into something higher or allowing you to soar, allowing you to rise above, allowing you to move upward and onward, allowing you to free up and to connect into more opportunities. There's a lot that has to do with opportunities open up to you. Also, I feel some of you, uh, there's something about being more in public or in front of the public or making yourself public or more known or even moving into some kind of leadership position. Now, this agate, um, I want to make sure you can see this because I have a different camera angle, you know, has a lot of red in it, has a little bit of white and pink. Um, so it has to do with that oneness or that unity. A lot of you are connecting in with the unity consciousness of the all that is. You're feeling your interconnectedness to other people around you, friends, family, uh, the world, a, co a particular community. Spirit is saying whatever you're doing, you need to stay connected to the heart, not to lose heart. So you are, ri you are literally rising above. There's something that you're rising above in your life. You're taking lower energy. In other words, if you had energy, let's say for something in your life, let's say you have extra time and it's like, do I take this energy? Do I take this energy? Let's say you're feeling a little tired, right? And you have some space in between your day. Let's say you have a half hour, an hour. Let's say you have an hour. 
Do you go for a walk to get your energy up? Do you take a nap or do you eat a bunch of sugar, stuff that has a lot of sugar in it or drink a lot of coffee? Do you see what I'm saying? It's, it's the same, it's energy, but which one is better for you? Which one is more life enhancing? So you're starting to do that. There's a transmutation process that's taking place for you. Now, what's interesting is I had to do, this is the second time I'm doing this reading. Let me make sure that it's on. Okay. Yeah, because I got into it. I don't know what happened. I had press play or record, but anyway, it didn't last. Okay, so you have the emperor here. And I'm looking at this as spirit. This is growth. This is also the energy of Aries. So this is about you forging a new trail, exploring more, being more curious, moving forward. April brings that energy. Also, those of you that are in business, April bit brings energy of growth in business. Whatever, wherever you've been wanting growth, it's, it's coming. And a lot of you have had to prove something. You don't see other trees there. You've had to focus. You've had to alter your focus. Some of you have altered the exchange, what you do for others or the expectations that others have of you so that you can focus more on your dreams, your goals, your desires. Now, it's taken courage and focus. You've got the seven of wands. Let's see what this is. And then we move into the five of cups. Wow, you had to really look at yourself. You had to really look and, and kind of go. It's not that you're letting go of the mistakes or betrayal or trauma or sadness or loss. You're now taking that energy and making something with it, creating something. You're forging a new path, a new trail. Look at this opening. You're forging a new path or trail that is not only better for you, but is more emotionally fulfilling. So you go from the Five of Cups. I think you can't see that. Yeah, you go to the Five of Cups to the Ten of Cups. That's what I mean. You're taking that energy. And I want to say this is a horse. But I also see it as a unicorn. So some of you are taking your gifts. There's a lot about movement. And then we go into the sun card, which also has birds. So spirit is really helping you. Spirit is really talking to you. Listen to the wind. Listen to the nudges. Listen to the promptings that you get this month. And then you go into daughter of wands which is page of wands. So new beginning. Now this can also be that there could be some communication from someone about a project or that wants to give you a job. I, I'm hearing a lot of communication that has to do with um, inspiration or motivation or planning for something, planning for projects. This, whether you're organizing your own life or making your own life work better for you, or this is about some kind of project or career direction or new job, you are going to get it. You also are getting someone in your life coming in your life. It's very beginning. This is okay. Spirit wants you to know, look, all this is at the beginning stage. So you, you really want to fan that fire of what you're, of how you're starting to feel the energy that you're starting to, um, get. Some of you might've been coming from a time you felt exhausted or your health wasn't the best. Um, or you felt you'd been trying, 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 and nothing was happened. The, April brings some kind of breakthrough. You're seeing the common thread in your life and how you fit in with other people, what you have to offer, what other people have to offer you, and what you have to offer the world. So I've been talking a lot about this on Patreon, so that might be some place you want to connect with also um, if you want further soul support on that. But I really feel like you're moving out of that space of just being a workhorse, right? Some horses are thoroughbreds. Some, some are plowing, you know. You've been plowing, plowing along, and now things are starting to connect. The thread is of the patterning of what you've been weaving is starting to come in. All right, you've also got the golden egg. This is potential. This is opportunity. But this is also coming from the heart. But it's through the mental realm of that yellow. It's through divine understanding, divine download. So you have heart energy here with that rose pink and magenta um, agate. So I really feel a connection with you. With the, the, It's the individual heart. You've been working on the heart chakra, maybe past 
difficulties, challenges, betrayals, you know, just some, some of you sadness, some of you loss, some of you being without someone, okay? There has been this loss, but now this energy is transmuting. You're getting this clarity of mind to move forward, okay? You are literally creating your own breakthrough by what's been happening internally. And I say soul shift, not so much again that your soul is shifting, but the lower level you, the human you, right? The, the person, ego personality has healed enough, cleared enough, or had enough clarity that the veils have lifted. There are the layers there. There's a dissolving that's taken place where you can more reach your soul. And so you've shifted more into soul awareness, soul experience, soul expression, soul time. This is more about soul time and timing where you're really going to start feeling guided and not as heavy, even if you don't know where you're going exactly or what you're doing, or you feel that you're bridging or moving, you know, through a process or, you know, you're not that yet there. There could be a, still a lot of uncertainty, but you're really letting your heart guide you and lead you. Um, now you're coming through the time of clearing up the inner dialogue. Now that's a lot of it. And of course, when we go through a lot of loss, we're not always thinking happy thoughts, you know, and that can drain us, victim mentality. So this is what you're shifting. You're sublimating this energy of I can't to I can, or maybe I couldn't in the past, but I can now, or I didn't know back then what I know now. So a lot of you are learning to understand what's happened to you and why and, and see it also as a soul experience. Or, you know, some of you, this leveling up has to come because you're, uh, it's coming due to the fact that you're releasing certain soul contracts or it's done. Certain obligations and responsibilities are done. Okay, and it says in your darkest hour, you will find the light you'll, that shines through and leads well, that's here, the light that's here, the light of your inspiration, your insight. And inspiration also is, it's inspirar. It comes from the Latin word inspirar, which means breath of God. So it doesn't always mean, oh, I'm inspired to post this, I'm inspired to, no, it just means connecting with God, the breath of life, just the basics of just stopping and pausing and focusing on the breath the miracle that this in-breath and out-breath is, the miracle that we are. You, that's where you're pulling it way back. And this is bringing you into a place of abundance. This is bringing you into a place of gratitude that as you're feeling this gratitude for what you've gotten through, and seriously, for a lot of you, what you've gotten yourself through, the miracle, not only that you are, but how you have been able to turn things around in your life is 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 causing you to ascend to a new level to a next level okay a lot to do also for some of you with communication i'm hearing that you're the communicator expert in your field you're moving into this leadership position now some of you this leadership is sovereignty it's just having more say so in the everyday to your life some areas that of focus for you are going to be the third house communication now some of you this is social media this is um, expressing more of yourself and then we've got 10th house so some of you could be writing you're going to be taking a chance now what i'm seeing in april your vision you're going to be seeing your vision or how you can make your vision more of a reality or some of you are seeing, oh my God, my vision is becoming a reality. What I dreamed of, what I focused on, my hard work is paying off. All this lack, limitation, all this disappointment, all that's happened to me is now there's a turning point. I'm on an upswing. Things are moving upward. There's a lot moving upward for you. I also see new people in your life that are very inspiring, or at least one person, and they could introduce you to some other people your some of your services are going to be wanted a lot of you could be doing some kind of workshop or seminar that's also going to bring you more clients or more people you're going to be asked to teach something um, some of you are going to be asked to organize or help put something together it could be a curriculum it could be a course it, it, some of you it's a symposium or a conference but again spirit wants you to remember this is just the beginning 
the thread of the newness that's coming in is starting to be woven. Now we do have Leo energy here and we have Aries. So I'm going to say this eclipse is very important for you. Um, this Libra Aries eclipse, solar Libra lunar eclipse, um, penumbral lunar, lunar eclipse, and then the solar eclipse, the eclipse cycle is bringing in a, a different focus for you in how you are in relationship. You could be collaborating more. Um, some of you may be looking for someone to help you with your vision or what you want to do. Um, you're definitely going to be offered some kind of position or job or you're going to or you're going to be focusing on making those changes this month that get you in a new uh, career trajectory or a, a different job or career. A lot to do with communication, emails, texting, um, a lot to do with social media. And even for some of you, there could be some local group. It could even be a community online, but if it somehow feels local or there's some kind of alignment there, maybe it's a spiritual group, a spiritual center that you're working through. Okay, let me see what other messages are coming through. Hmm. you're going to notice the change spirit is saying you're going to notice the change in how you feel and how you're using your energy and what you're focused on you're going to be focused um, less on striving you're going to be more in a flow like following like what you have set up it's going to be easier this month to do your goals whatever you've set out to achieve um, yeah look at this red safety power the hand of destiny right here I don't know if you see it yeah you're gonna have the strength the power the tenacity um, the brilliance I heard you're to follow through that's the big change for you in April is about following through and opening to the opportunities that are coming. No matter how small they are, they will lead to bigger things. And this really is luck, meaning uh, that luck is preparation, meeting opportunity. You've prepared. You've hung in there. Uh, Spirit wants you to hang in there. Follow. Now, some of you need to put a contract together. You need to tighten up the way that you work or there's changes in how you work. Those of you that are entrepreneurial or con working contract based, there's something changing either hourly or you're taking a deposit there's something how you that you change that in what you're doing um, it could be sent out through an email it could be an actual contract um, the message that I'm getting is really focus on your own inner authority uh, your your sovereignty um, that you're including yourself in your decisions you're including you know yourself in what people ask of you what is the exchange? This is not tit for tat, but this is you want to be doing more what is also supporting your your goal, your dreams, goals, and desires, and helping you navigate through that. So you're gonna really look for synergistic relationships this month. People that you can that can help you, that you're not the only one helping or listening. But this April for you is a lot of action with that Aries energy, Leo here with the sun. Um, it's a lot about taking action and, and you're going to re be required to because I feel like there's going to be people do, do this, call them. Did you do that? We need this. There's going to be a lot of movement um, this month. So if you felt stuck or stagnant, there is movement. Um, work on the throat chakra, the sacral chakra and the root chakra um, are very beneficial for you also this time. You'll also be getting clarity into how things are starting to unfold and appear for you okay so that uh we'll get a soul insights mantra now i'm doing a deeper dive i will go into a more specific finance and relationship um also uh, in the extended which is on patreon if you would like to um uh, do that there'll be there's a link in the description box below okay all right your soul insights mantra is 
I am shifting to align more to my full, my, oh, I'm shifting to align, full, I'm thinking of the, <laughs> the this little horse is calling me. I don't know if any of you have horses or love horseback riding, but this little guy is calling me. Um, and I feel like this is in the barn. So there could be something about you spending more time outdoors or on a ranch or, or, or needing to free up like the horses, free up. Horses have to do also with will, willpower, our individual will, aligning our will with divine will or personal will or little will. All right, so your soul insights mantra to support you on your path at this time is, ooh, I'm aligning, I'm shifting, I am shifting to align more to my soul and my true soul vision. A lot of you are giving up a vision that it wasn't really completely yours or you found a vision or something you have found that is much more emotionally fulfilling for you. Um, some of you, this is the beginnings of a relationship. I have to say that also. Um, all right, so light, uh, if you wanna do the extended, the link is in the description box with the timestamps, you should be able to find it. All right, have a beautiful April. Um, and if I don't see you in another reading, shine bright, take care. Hello, Soul Light. Welcome to your reading. If you chose Soul Story number two, this is your reading. Wow. For one thing, I'm getting April, you move past some boundaries. Um, and these boundaries could be limitations that either you set on yourself or someone else or circumstances set through. And I know we have uh, Mercury retrograde in uh, April, but I feel like somehow that's going to work in your favor. Because there may be some things that you want to redo or you're re doing some kind of reset, reviewing and also a reset of your boundaries. In other words, you may have extended your boundaries or extended your limitations or you, you might feel overextended and so you have to course correct a little bit in April or you might say, okay, this is great, but I now need to put some kind of foundation or I need to put some, I need to communicate to people, this is what I'm doing. You know, this is, this is where I'm focused right now. So there is something you're stretching out of something this month. Um, a lot to do also for you with, I feel, um, manifesting. I, I don't know. I've been making something more solid. You know, of course, this agate, this red-orange agate, too. Um, it's more of an orange agate. It has a lot to do with the sacral chakra, right? but also the root. So what are you grounding? What are you, how are you centering? Centering is very important. I think you're gonna have a lot to do in April. I think April is gonna be a very busy month for you. And I think that you're gonna to have to ground yourself or you're gonna to have to center, you're gonna to have to get organized, maybe more organized. This could also be bringing changes, whoops, um, in, your, in your routine. That true, okay, it doesn't wanna stand up there. There we go, okay. See what cards you've got here. Ooh, sparks of life. Scintillae, one scintillae, right? So can you see that? Okay, sparks of light. Well, that's telling me, hmm, something is shining. Something starts to pay off. Look at that green, the growth, the emerald light. Something that is unique to you starts taking off in April or you're, you're starting to get seen. A lot of you that um, you're going to have the time to anchor something or is it a... You're going to have time to make something more real or a reality. The sparks of light also has to do with your light, your brightness, but people finally seeing you. I feel like you're coming out of the dark somehow, or you're coming out of some level of confusion. Maybe people were confused about you or what you did, or you could have been confused about what you did or do in life, or, you, or you're changing direction. You're getting clearer about this is what I do. This is what I share. You know, this is how I am. This is what I need. This is what I want. So there's a lot of clarity um, this month. And this clarity is moving you beyond bounds, boundaries, bounds that you had. Hmm. 
Okay, let's look and see. We're going to do, looking at doing the astro cards with you first. Moving out of those boundaries, lack, something self-imposed boundary or limitation, or you could have pulled yourself back because you weren't clear. The messaging wasn't clear with, is what I'm hearing. Now the messaging is getting clearer. There's some clarity. Ooh, fifth house, passion, yeah. There's something about what you're designing or creating that is becoming clearer. Now this could be your gifts. This is, could be what you're offering. Just make sure you can see that, okay. It's a 43.7, so a lot of you could have compared yourself or your timeline or your path. I feel a lot of, you're gonna get a lot of validation this month, a lot of acknowledgement. Some of you, this is coming from becoming more public or you're already public and you're just gonna be seen more. The, your authenticity, your truth is gonna be sub, is seen more. Okay, let's see. Okay, there's one card that keeps wanting to come out. Let's see if it comes out. Okay, now this is interesting because you've got Juno, put the cards out and then see. I just heard light of day. Yeah, something you put out there. Got third house, look at all that blue, even though there's yellow. Some of you, someone gives you a great idea and you follow through on and it somehow propels you to a next level. I just heard bounds. Whether you held yourself back or circumstances held you back, there is some propelling forward. There's some, in the limelight, I just heard, propelling in the light, propelling in the limelight. Some of you want to perform or you want to do something more publicly, whether it's publicly speaking, singing, dancing, DJing, or becoming more known in your field, in your area. Some of you are looking for some kind of... Um, job and or career change. Now, I really feel that this is also about, can I go out on my own? Or should I partner with this person? Partnership. We're really looking for partnership. With fifth house there, someone could see you and say, hey, I like you or I like what you're doing or I've been watching you. I know not in a creepy way. We've got cancer, immerse. Let's see what this card is. Yeah, collaborate. That's what I was saying. Yeah. So you're going to be um, immersing yourself in your creative flow in April. There's really this up leveling of, you know, information coming through you that you want to put into form or you want to share. I feel like there's a lot more openings and opportunities coming for you. You might want to look if you help, felt drawn at all the soul story number one, you might want to there might be some a little bit of crossover, um, not in exactly the same way, but I do feel like with you, there's groups. I am feeling you're already more out there and you maybe you're looking for partner or partnership or you're going to start working with a partner. Um, creative partnerships, that's, what's, that's what your soul wants. Your soul wants creative partnerships and to really get out there in the world. The message from the soul is get be, you're, getting, you're getting stretched beyond your boundaries. Your self, either external or self-imposed limitations or limitations due through time or energy. Um, I almost feel like you, a lot of you had maybe some Saturn influence and now that influence is, you know, you, you put the foundation in that now you have to extend beyond what you did before and that's what I heard is April is bringing April and then also August there's something for you August and then the close of the year but the fall months look really also good for you I know we're looking at April but I feel like there's something that you're going to be creating or coming to some kind of conclusion but people are seeing you people are noticing you people are seeing what you do they're noticing what you do they're going to be very drawn to you with what you do, or someone is going to help you see more people or reach more people. Now, some of you, this could be clients or customers that you're seeing more people. I feel a lot to do with, um, oh, look at that. There we go. Look at that. Yeah. 
A lot of you doing things spiritually based, spiritually based business. But look at this. Financial freedom is what you're creating. Whether it comes in April, it's definitely this year. Someone's going to offer you some kind of opportunity and freedom of soul expression. This untapped power. Yeah, you're starting to tap into the uniqueness of your, you're starting to get yourself, get your soul. This, this is what I want you really to connect in. If you're resonating with this reading, your spiritual practice, you're tapping into something, your own light, your own gifts, your own creativity, this untapped power or inner power, um, your gifts, the way you do something, your uniqueness, everything that you've learned, all the mistakes, everything that you are, you're really garnering this energy. And you're going to, a lot of you might have held yourself back. Oh, I can't do that. Or that's stupid. Or that's silly. Or I don't know if I could do it or make my, or no one's going to like it. Or I don't know. You've really been refining somehow. And it's moving you in a place of financial freedom. So a lot of you could do very well in the, any media, social media, any forms of communication, um, anything that has to do also with technology, um, use of technology, especially a lot with computers. A lot of you could be doing a lot online that there is working from home. If you, if you want that second or third job or, you know, or you want a career, most likely you already are, you're going to be working from home, but people will be able to see you. That's what spirit is bringing that, where you're going to be more seen, you're going to be more known. But I feel some of you, this it could be in April, it could be somebody from your past that comes back that says, hey, I've been watching you, I like what you're doing, or, um, you know, <laughs> I like what you're doing, I like what, you know, do you want to get together or do you want to collaborate? I think people are starting to see the, the truth that you bring, that you bring a lot of truth, you know, genuineness. Um, they're starting to see your uniqueness. And it's whatever it is that you're doing, it's going to pay off is what I'm hearing. There's a payout. But a lot of you, April, it's, it's you, you garner more people around you. Yeah, look at you're moving from that Ten of Swords where you're wishing and hoping and wondering, is this ever going to happen or it's really not happening for me to that idea, that new direction. There's something you land upon. There's something you post. There's something you do. There's something you say. There's something you put out there. And a lot of you are seen as the spiritual one, the creative one, the psychic one. A lot of you are very psychic you know, or, or very intuitive, could be psychic. Um, some of you are going to be connecting with someone for some kind of project. I, I am really feeling that where you're bringing one thing and they're bringing something else. It's a really nice balance. And I feel they reach out to you. You could be those of you that do any, whatever the work is that you do, there could be people wanting to work with you, to collaborate with you. They're, they're seeing your gifts. They, they, they're seeing your shine. Um, for some of you, this definitely brings, for some of you, a little glow up, some of you, a big glow up, but you're leaving behind this idea. Like I'm missing out. I'm, I'm not going to get it. Okay. It's untapped inner power. There's something you're starting to tap into, but sometimes that's just the way of life is like, we kind of bump into, it's like bumper cars. We keep bumping in, bumping in, bumping in, bumping in. And then somehow something clicks and any creative will tell you that or anybody that's ever invented something or innovated something. I mean, I love the stories of Steve Jobs with the iPhone because there were so many things that it, it just wasn't, you know, or even the Apple, the computer, right? The Mac, the Macintosh. If you look at its... Um, I had the 145B way back in the day, one of the first laptops, um, Apple laptop, um, right? Look at the incarnations that there were. Look at how it, the, the, not only the form transformed, right? But it transmuted the energy of the machine and its intention and focus. That's what you're going through. You're going through like a major, you know, up-leveling, Justice, Libra energy. 
Now, I dare say some of you are on the road to either leveling up in your relationship, going to that next level, or you're meeting someone that is a marriage partner. Now, I don't know if this, for some of you, the person comes back. Some of you, because they see you. They finally see you. I'll look at one more justice, but this is your just rewards for what you've put in also. Okay, a lot of Libra energy, a lot of air energy for you in uh, April. So this tells me a lot of communication. Maybe you are an air sign or predominance of air or the transits are as aspecting a planet that you have in an air sign. Um, or you're just going to, there's a lot to do with communication, sharing of ideas. Um, there's still a hard connection, but there, there's a lot to do with ideas connecting on the men. Let's do this. Let's build this. Let's create this. Oh, I wanted to talk to you. Let's get together. There's a lot to do in April for you with communication and refining something that you've wanted to do. Um, you're getting a, you're getting a stronger hit as to what direction to go in. Um, I do feel some of you are going to be taking a chance or you're, or you're strategizing, you're, writing it down or strategizing the plan of what you're going to do that happens in april okay now april let me see four is a um a 12 3 energy so there is a lot of reflection there is a lot of review there's a lot of balancing things out looking at things kind of dispassionately and seeing because you're going to be moving on we got to take all those and the magician oh my god let's just take them all that are coming out because they're all so juicy they're all so good all right look at where you're going here and i do feel someone is helping you or supporting you there could be someone that you're meeting but look at this because you're making changes a lot of you are you're going to see the path Okay, this is what's happening is a karmic completion, karmic culmination. You're starting to get results from the energy that you've put in. That You have a change in destiny. It's interesting. Soul story number one had a soul shift, which is really an ego personality shift to allow more of the soul. But we call it a soul shift. There's something sh shifting within the soul experience. It's a next level soul alignment. Now, you're kind of going along, trusting your intuition, doing what you need to do cleaning up stuff, fixing stuff, completing, you've been doing that. But I feel like what's coming in is some kind of reward for the past. And it's allowing cancer there. So a lot of you are going to see the road that it's possible to have the home, the lifestyle, whatever it is that you're wanting. Okay. And some of you, this is really, you're wanting to work from home and it's showing wish fulfilled. Okay. Wish fulfillment with the collaboration and imprints again, home, creativity, f fertility, and the magician. I'm going to put that here because this is the energy that's been active in you. It's the magician energy. And it's bringing the star, which we have healing. So we have magician. We have um, Virgo, right? Virgo energy, Virgo Gemini energy, Libra, Cancerian energy. Aquarius, we have Aquarius here, and we have Venusian energy, you know, Venus energy uh, with Taurus, Libra, and, and Libra here, and the Six of Pentacles. So you're still having to work. I get it. There's a blow up. There's a glow up. You're still doing with that Six of Pentacles. A lot more of what you want to have happen is happening in your life. You're, you're really doing it. You're sustaining what it is you want. Um, I feel unless you're partnered, this relationship coming in most likely is more collaborative or friend or it's very beginning if it's going to be like a romantic significant other. If you're already in a relationship, definitely there's a deepening and more help and support there. And you could even decide to do something with your partner um, to, you know, on a career level or creative level and say, hey, why don't we start this business? Why don't we do this? So you're kind of sitting pretty. Things are starting to pick up. Things are starting to pay off. Uh, you're being more seen. You're getting more acknowledgement, more acclaim. Lion, there we go, Leo. This is, I said that. So that's the energy for you to connect with that Leo. Now remember, name it and claim it. I don't know if I said that in soul story number uh, one, but 
you're you're doing it you're you know there's a lot of self-motivation self-satisfaction you're basically happy with things are starting to happen and you're really starting to see big picture that's what i'm getting with you this is a lot about big picture oh i can't believe i did those cards okay i did different tarot all right so light let's look and see yeah this is really about you connecting in to this higher vibrational aspect of you and really um i just saw this using your wisdom yeah well you've got this owl is it a lion or an owl or the sun all right i'm going to um be, get more detail dive deeper on patreon if you want to connect there um, you can um, the link is in the description box basically you are shining and you're getting noticed that's a big part of april is getting seen getting noticed and that pulls you out of a lack of limitation a boundary whether self-imposed or um, from circumstances so that you can um Connect with the, your next level of beings, you know, your soul group, soul tribe, the next level of people that you're meant to connect with. It's really a, it's really an advancement of where you were. It's somehow, it's bringing more, um, it's bringing you more work, but you're still having to do the work, but you're seeing the way out. You're seeing where things can go. All right. So your soul insights mantra to support you on your path is, okay, let's see. I am up leveling and moving towards my destiny, my destiny of abundance, love, light, and prosperity is manifesting for me. Yeah, this is where you're going. This is it. This is the trajectory right here. All right, so light, if I don't see you in the Patreon extended, I'll see you in another reading. Lots of love and light. Hello, Soul Light. If you chose Soul Story number three, or if this was one of the Soul Stories that you chose, this is your reading. And you have this amazing blue agate. I have to get used to this new angle here, camera angle. And I kind of see a moon in here with something coming out of it. So I feel hmm, the new moon this month, there's some new beginning. The, well, the message I'm getting from Spirit is it becomes crystal clear. It's crystal clear now. There's something in your life that is so crystal clear. For some of you, it's how you were in relationship or how you were in your life or in general or your approach to life some of you may have to do even with business or a job or with children it's different things for different people but it's crystal clear there is a new level of clarity that is coming in for you that is going to allow you to be much more decisive and by the way i feel um by what i'm being shown is either april has a lot of openings and opportunities there could be a lot on your plate now you may be able to put some of these decisions off is what I'm being told. Like you're, it, it's just things are going to become cl crystal clear, like what you're going to be deciding, where you're going to be going, where you're going to be moving, you know, who you're going to be with, what you're going to do what with, or whom you're going to do what with, whatever, whatever the scenario is, that clarity that you've been wanting is the veil is lifting is what I'm hearing. So the veil of confusion or too many options, you're going to be able to put things in order. You're going to be able to prioritize this month. Okay. And the card you have is Chiron. Okay. Let me connect in. Okay, the message I'm getting is it's not just about healing, it's about completing something that you, that is done, it's over, and moving on to, um, you would perhaps say a better destiny, 
or a better approach to your life leading more to the destiny of how you want to live. The other thing that I'm getting is with this, uh, the soul story here is about key code activation. That you're starting to connect in perhaps to a gift or uniqueness. Some of you, this is a deep, deep awareness, inner awareness, a deep healing. It, it, it may be very internal for you this month. It may be that you're starting to notice what you're attracting and realizing, okay, I'm done with that pattern. I'm done with this. I'm, I'm done with that situation. And you're going to start seeing, oh, I'm drawing in people more complimentary. I'm drawing in people that have the, the yin to my yang, the yang to my ying, right? Or yang. <laughs> yang. <laughs> the, the yin to my yang, the yang to my yin. There's something about this balance. And of course, healing, uh, the derivation of that word comes from wholeness and, you know, the, the whole part of an individual. So when we talk about healing, we're really talking about wholeness. We're really talking about integrating parts of our psyche. So a lot of you could have been doing a lot of shadow work. There's a, there's a wonderful communication I'm getting from you to yourself, with yourself. Some of you, this means that the, the, the way that you were talking to yourself has changed. There's something that's changed about your inner dialogue or your inner languaging. And I'm getting that for a lot of people right now, actually in April. I, I don't know if it came through in any of the other soul stories, but this idea of the dialogue, something has shifted where you're becoming more clear about what you want and what works for you and what to say or not say, what's supportive of you, you know, what's not supportive of you. Um, or people in general, those of you that work with individuals, some of you are um, going to increase the working with others. Some of you are going branching out on your own. Um, some of you, I do feel healing, meditation. I feel... Um, I don't know if there's hypnotherapy, maybe, but some form of healing work or maybe natural path. Could even be doula, midwife, doctor. You're just going to see the healing principle. I even heard lawyer. Someone's going to the lawyer. The lawyer is going to help you. Also, legal dealings are going to start getting ironed out. You're going to see what you need to do to iron something out, okay? Now, I know we have a retrograde, but I do see with this group that there probably will be something um, happening with contracts or some kind of legal dealing, or there could be signing of a lease or some kind of document closing on a house. Um, it, there, there's something coming full circle for you. That, that, that's what I'm getting. It's full circle coming around for you. Something in your life is coming full circle. And I just hear you were closing on it. Yeah, you've got visualization and the challenger. So let's look at that. Let's bring those out. Yeah, you're able to rise above challenges right now. To some degree, you're rising above the challenges. It's showing also a purging process. And look at this, aligning to your wholeness. Perfect. So I can hear someone say, well, I've just had about enough. I'm, I'm done with that. So the challenge is you're able to handle through good communication or knowing when to communicate and when not to communicate. I do feel like the soul story here, if you're tapping into this uh, soul story and you're resonating with this, there's something that you have learned about not having to over speak or overdo. Um, it's funny, someone had put in the comments about their age that they're, I don't know, I think they were 63 and they, you know, didn't, it's in, a, in a way, didn't need to hear certain things. And, you know, I'm always needing to hear things. I am still learning. Even though I know a lot, I share a lot, I've studied a lot, I've trained a lot, there's still a lot that I don't know. <laughs> and I'm still wowed by a spirit, you know. In the words of my dad, you're learning, hopefully you're learning till the day you cross over or you pass on. Um, and it, that doesn't have to be the main focal point of life, isn't about learning lessons, but when we can learn and grow, even being curious, if we can learn something new, something that's interesting, it doesn't have to be heavy all the time that we're learning because of a trauma or wounding, or we're learning not to do that again. 
Um, and, and one of the things I do feel about for you in April, or at least starting in April, and some of you already, because I get this aligning with wholeness, is you're kind of just seeing everything more full circle, full spectrum. Like, okay, this is just a part of life. This is what I went through. I feel like you're more embracing yourself in, in April. And I feel like you're using your mind much more in a, in a decisive way or a way of, hey, I'm going to map out what I want to experience today or this week or in this situation, or I'm going on that job interview and I'm going to map it out more in my mind. Now, some people might say, oh, that's very simple, Michelle. Well, not really. A lot of people don't do that. A lot of people don't curate their experiences. And one of the things we're meant to do right now in this part of the awakening of the soul alignment is to begin to curate our experiences more. And this energetic pattern focus started around 2011, um, between 2011 and 2012, where the whole idea of cur curating, because, you know, to some degree it's go with the flow, whatever happens, or there's a bigger picture, or we're being guided by spirit or God, our higher self, or we're a guardian angel, the oversouls. But this part of the path has a lot to do with self-determinism, sovereignty, getting, being guided by your very own higher self, letting that aspect of you, you know, kind of take the reins more. So getting big picture, but it is a lot to do with self-determinism. It's, it's, it's like the world is, is about, instead of over focus on codependency or de the dependent part of the personality, the wholeness is bringing individuality, individuating. So people are learning without cutting off or being hard edged to be more independent and then have a healthy dependency. So there's interdependency. I feel that that is a big, you know, learning that you've come through and there's a lot of healing for you around relationship. It's quite beautiful. And I do feel that with all this kind of rose pink there, and then look at this inside golden wisdom here, passion, purpose, this is victory. There's a, there's a sweet energy of self-love that's coming in self-love and self-acceptance where I really feel like you're going to be like oh that used to bug me doesn't bother me anymore that's just how it is or that's how, what I did or whatever you're really kind of moving on um you're rising above you're, you're going to gain clarity whatever the situation is that you're going through right now in your life you're going to be gaining some level of clarity oh look at this progressions Okay, now this should not be moving because I have a different setup, so hopefully. Okay, let's look at this. So it's coming in right under what you're visualizing, ascendant, entrance. Okay, you're entering in a different journey. You're entering into a different part of the soul journey where the time is now. And it's all about connecting into timing. I think a lot of you have let go of something that has to do with chronological time, whether age or stage or whatever. I just heard weight, something. You've let go of something on a 3D level. And this has brought you into an, to rise above in a new level. You're entering a new level. That's part of the healing. You know, once we heal something or learn, we move on. Right? There's level one, two, three, on and on. A, B, C, there's, um, you know, O levels. There's, you know, uh, freshman, soph sophomore, junior, senior. You know, there's um, advanced levels. So some of you are graduating. It could be quite literally that you're graduating from a program, a class, a course, a, you know, a school, university, college, trade. There is something about this graduation into this next level. You've gone through the challenges. You know, whatever you started out with, with your ultimate vision or focus. And some of you, this vision had to change because of life circumstances. And so you had to go through these challenges. And so you're journeying a, a good a group of you that are not partnered are journeying in a way that you're open to more relationships in your life whatever that is I feel like you I feel like you know you've healed enough 
to not worry about what you're going to attract. Maybe a little tiny concern or, you know, like, let me keep a watch on what I'm attracting. Now, again, everybody's different. So this could be in collegial, you know, collaborative relationship. This could also be in um, business relationship or personal, interpersonal. Okay, moon, the perception. Look at all that blue. And I just want to remind you You've got the, this blue here, a little bit of blue, gray, gl blue with the white, blue, blue, a little bit of green here, and but the blue here. Now this is telling me that there's some kind of clarity. Once you align with your wholeness, you're letting go of what has happened to you in the past. Um, and so this is telling me that, look at out of all this kind of self-love, this reflection, this deeper healing work, whatever that was for you, or healing focus, and you know, a lot of growth and getting to this new level, it's put you in touch with your emotions in a way that you can really channel your emotions now into something great, some kind of great project, um, a new way of being in relationship, being more perceptive, not letting your emotions pull you off again you know i'm getting with this soul story as i tune in more to the frequency of god consciousness in this reading i am really getting a kind of an inward time and even with moon i'm reminded pay attention to the moon cycles i'm being reminded that this is a, pro a progress you're making progress you're you're purging you've purged some lower level dense emotions stuck emotions see what that card is oh look at that fourth house all this inward very inward look at the colors the slight violet the, the violet flame per, perhaps Saint Germain so a lot of time in the home and what part of what you're doing is you're contemplating your future you're really going to be looking at the future of a relationship or relationship in general what you need what you want what needs to change in current relationships or what, you know, what are the new roles? That's what your higher self is asking you. Like there's new roles in relationship, especially for the, those of you that have been with someone for a long time. Every now and then we got to update, not just for ourselves, but what we need and want in relationship. And so that is definitely also going to be happening with you. You're updating what it is you need and want. All right, let's look at some tarot here. I kind of really feel subdued with this reading. And it's interesting because I'm going into the night. I started this in the afternoon and I had to charge the battery. So perhaps part of your healing is charging your own battery and spending more time at home or within and, and getting those answers that you need and want. This is a confirmation that you've, you've not been wasting time. I really, Spirit wants you to know that. You've not been wasting time. It's not a waste of time. Whatever it is you've been focused on, it's not a waste of time. Wow, and you've got moon again. Look at this. I'm going to put that there. Now let me see. Can you see that? Because the camera angle is different. I don't think so. Okay. Let's put that there. All right, so we've got the moon, and then we've got the nine of wands, but there's another moon there. So again, the moon cycle, the solar eclipse, perhaps, the new moon, these look like new moons. I suppose they could be balsamic as well, and father of wands. This is your future. So if you're feeling kind of inward, look at all this. And this is six of pentacles. Again, this has to do with relationship, right? This has to do with rebalancing yourself, your relationship to yourself and what's important to you, but then balancing relationship with, with others um, so that you are connecting in to this power source within from all this healing. 
so that you're able to use this energy in a creative way. So something very creative is coming through to you, whether you perceive yourself as a creative being or not, or an artist, uh, many of you are, but you're visualizing your future. And the future is getting clearer and clearer of where you're going and what the direction is and the steps to do. So something is coming externally. It's interesting because I had seen the tower card. Let's see if it does come out. Oh, it's on the bottom of the deck. Okay. Because I'm seeing this right here with the tower card. And Father of Wands has that. So this is, and then you have th this. So this is some kind of direct transmission that you're going to get that literally turns you into that energy of the Father of Wands or the King of Wands, frees you up to, some of you it's going in a new direction, some of you it is just much more creativity or uh, living more entrepreneurial. This is your future. So what happens is whatever this situation is, this loosening up, I feel it comes from your healing is what I'm being shown. It gets you from the moon, from the subconscious, all this healing, there's some kind of awakening that takes place. And this is what's needed for you to go into your future, that north node. So I would suggest that you really connect with the energy of the king of wands, that male principle in action of determination, creativity, inspiration. Uh, king of wands is very much about creative solutions, problem solving from a kind of more playful level and kind of living bigger. And I would, if you know, even if you're a tarot reader, maybe, and I do this myself, read in multiple books or online, various, you know, um, definitions or descriptions of that King of Wands, because this, out of the moon, this is part of you that's coming out of your subconscious. And, and some of you, this part have may, may have been stultified. It may have been held down. It might have been regressive. There might have been a regressive pull to not get you to, you know, allow you to move forward. Some of you, this has been a very subconscious process. You haven't sat down and said, oh, this is what I'm going to do. It's been really guided by your higher self and your spirit team. So April could be kind of inward, could be very inward for you. I, I'm, I want to share with you. I want to say that, if, you know, I don't want to tell you how to feel, but if you remember this reading, don't think, oh, I'm not really doing anything or am I, oh my God, I'm still inward or I'm going inward. I thought I was going to do more. Okay, we got a couple things and look what's at the bottom. I love this. Rising like the phoenix. Oh, two cards and the snake. Look at all that transformative energy. The flower of life, but the owl. See, you've learned. Whatever the learning lesson is, I really want you to say, I know more now. I have the wisdom now. I did the best I could in the past. Because whatever it is, is about your rising like the phoenix deep within you, in your consciousness, in how you experience and express yourself in life, on earth, but also some part of your life is rising. This is the, this is the consummate renewal. And there's, you, it either happens for you in April or you begin to see and feel the signs of it. Now, I don't know. I'm going to, I'm asking spirit, what is this? Some of you, it's an inner awakening. This is very bit, this, okay. I keep getting corrected because I keep looking for an outer experience, an outer situation. And I'm, I keep getting told it's inner. This is an inner awakening. And you've got beaver because you're building a new future. You're building something new. So this is not... Um, yeah, this is, in some of you, it's a house, a home, a new life or lifestyle. This is an inner transformation that connects you in 
really to that Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, especially Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you might be curious, you might be looking big picture, visualizing, looking at what's, you know, the kind of the future. Some of you profit, some of you are going to get a lot of downloads or, you know, channeled information that you're going to be speaking or sharing um, or telling your friends or, you know, you might find yourself highly intuitive this month, um, you know, really t or tapping into your psychic ability. You could be helping friends out or just seeing, you know, have some answers, whether not just for yourself, but for others. This is the next level of connecting into your soul gifts. Um, some of you, your spiritual gifts, understanding your spirit as a spiritual being and your spirit and the level of spirituality, that that's what helps you rise above. So a lot of you may not have been connecting as much with your psychic self, soul or spirit or spirituality. That could be some of you, it could be a new experience. Some of you, it is a renewed experience that you have this connection. You're renewing this connection or you're making it stronger and you're, you're using this part of you, this aspect of you more. Okay. Let's see other message. Yeah. Inward cycle in April, a lot of very inward, even owl, the night, you have a lot of things that have to do with night, but then also rising above. And even the snake at night, you know, goes in its little snake hole or burrow, but there's a transformative process that's taking place for you. And really all you have to do is be in the process, be in the journey, allow it to progress. You're being, you're entering a new zone, if you will, you know, a new level, but this new level has a new energy to it. And so April, you're trying it on, you're feeling it out. Um, yeah, Spirit just says kind of watch and observe and, and be part of the energy, not to resist it, but go with it. Um, there could be the energy also of Pisces or Piscean energy. There is also Mars where you find it, you want to take action, but it's action that comes from a sense of passion and purpose or inspiration or determination or will to create something, achieve something, solve something. You're going to be looking a lot at creative solutions and solving problems. All right, so light. I will. I'm doing uh, more detailed on Patreon. If you want to join me there, the link is in the description box. Otherwise, let's look at your soul insights mantra. Is I have gone deep, and now I am rising above to renew and regenerate. Now, the message that I'm getting is when you say, I am rising above to renew and regenerate, visualize, here's the visualization, what area of your life that you want to renew and regenerate. And this is going to completely align you to this energy. All right. Oh, wow. Okay. So I would say if you're naming and claiming this, put uh, moons, in the comments and owl, anything that you, uh, that's representative of this energy and frequency for you. Um, yes. Wow. Deep, deep inner work coming out, coming through, coming through. Yeah. New beginnings, new beginnings around the new moon. All right. So light, lots of love and light until next time. Shine bright. Hello, Soul Light. Welcome to your reading. If you chose Soul Story number four, even though you might have chose more than one Soul Story. Now, I heard don't be timid, don't be shy. I am getting kind of an energy of hmm, reticence, a little bit held back. Um, but I also get an energy of being very diligent, very focused in April. Um, it seems like there's some clarity that has come in for you and you know what to do. I heard you know what to do. You're going to find out what to do. You're going to know what to do. You're moving into a time of creative solutions, problem solving, seeing what the, you know, the answer, the answer is. Okay. You've got this teal agate. 
is pretty translucent. So I'm getting that. You can see my finger on the other side. Something's becoming clearer and clearer. I don't know soul if you were drawn to soul story number two. Oh, excuse me, soul story number three. Something's getting clearer and clearer. And it's becoming quite clear now. I'm also getting a lot to do with health, health care, uh, maybe changes, dietary changes or changes within the body. Some of you, this could be hormonal changes or literally changes within the body. Maybe you're sculpting your body or doing some kind of change within the body. And there's also a, a change of identity or how one sees oneself, a, a kind of a reforming or reformatting something. Now, maybe that's literal reformatting, or, you know, some kind of changing the format of something is what I'm getting. All right, let's look in here. Oh, we've got Saturn. Okay, that's interesting. Cutting something out, changing the format. So you see that bead right there? That bead of gold? And the dice there, taking a chance on something. Okay, that the reformatting is changing how you do something or what your your approach or how you're expecting to do something. Um, I, I want to tune in a little bit more psychically because I am getting foundation. I am getting kind of all the Saturn things, but I mostly feel like you've been held back maybe from indecision or confusion or having a lot on your plate or a lot to do or a lot to complete. So I feel April begins the cycle of cutting things out. It, it's, it's some of you, yeah, it's letting go, it's winding out, but some of you, it's literally making the choice or the decision. I'll take that, but not that. I want this, I want that, not this. So you're gonna start making a lot of decisions. Some of you, it's a very intuitive decisions that you're making. You've got a seven there is the, the um, number there, and that's representing to me spirit and also the higher mind or psychological mind. A seven or nine as the number taps into our higher mind or divine mind or the philosophy of life. So you're getting some kind of philosophy of life. Um, you needed a philosophy of life for this next level. You know, depending on what we're focused on, right, or what's important to us or what we're prioritizing, that gives, we have to have a philosophy towards it, right? We create kind of a narrative. We, we create beliefs and ideas to support what we're doing of our vision or our focus or our dream, our goal, our desire, that it not only inspires us and motivates us, but gives us the reason why we're doing something. Like some people say, oh, well, I want to eat better because of this or that. You know, I want to lower this or lower that or raise this or, you know, or I want to be more fit or trim or, you know, I want to be healthier or, um, you know, I'm getting up earlier so I can run by the beach, run at the beach, or I can, you know, go rollerblading in the morning, or I'm, I'm changing my work schedule. So there's a lot right now, starting in April, about accommodating the, what it is that you want to change or what's changed already within you. And these are Saturnian changes, so they have to do with time, energy, or focus. Yeah, blending your talents to create a signature of creative expression. So you're there's something you're creating or blending. Look at that. Ooh, the little agate came to see you. It's the carnelian agate. Okay, let's put this little guy over there. Wow, with hard work, dreams come true. So I think some of you are very focused. It's going to show more in... Um, August, uh, well, August, there could be bigger changes, but in April, and I think I can hear people saying, wow, you're really, fo you don't do that anymore. And you're just like, no, it's not like I see you guys going around. I don't do this anymore. I don't eat this. I don't do that. It's just, you're focused on your goal and you're trying to get as much energy. So a lot of you are doing a lot with the principles of manifestation. You're really understanding manifestation. This reminds me of the dancer or the bodybuilder and it's anything in life. It doesn't matter. You're going to school for something. You study. You know, you have to put the time in, the energy. We, on a human level, we say you have to work hard. Um, 
you know, you start a new job or you're doing, you know, you're apprenticing at something, you're putting the time in. So whatever it is that you're focused on, you're putting the time in, you're diligent, you're doing your due diligence, you're putting the time, the focus, you're motivated. And all of that is paying off. And also I feel people are going to start to see or notice some of some people are going to be like, oh, how did that just come? How did you get that? Or how did you do that? Almost like it's out of the blue. Well, no, with Saturn here, it's been focused work. It's taken time, energy, money, uh, you know, focus, setting aside the time, the follow through. You're learning. You've had to pace yourself. Sometimes, sometimes you feel like you couldn't make it. You could barely, you know, <laughs> like you're not going to make it. You could barely you know, function or too tired, whatever it is. Some of you, this is a test that you're studying for and you're going to pass, you're gonna do, or you already have passed the test. Now, this could be a life test, life learning lesson, or this could also be a literal test is what I'm hearing. Okay, let's see. So you see the dreams come true, but they come true with um, the work, the the progressive work, the consistent effort. Okay, let's see. Anything else coming from this deck? Any messages? Yeah, a lot of you are in fuego. Look at that, onward and upward. Financial freedom. A lot of you have goals, financial goals, or you're investing your money in something. So I'm getting, putting money aside. Um, some of you, the Saturn could be, feel you feel a bit trapped financially or like you're not moving ahead enough financially or like, oh my God, I still have more work. But it does show onward and upward. Now this, this card is saying let go of the past so you can be present and create the future. Well, the Saturn energy is time, timing. So a lot of you still have contracts, obligations, you know, money responsibilities. You might think there's burdens. Um, there's something, that, you know, that you're finishing up, but you're doing it and you're cutting out what's extraneous or what's pulling you so that you can focus on your dreams, your goals, your specifically your dreams, your goals, your vision. And so there is this movement that you are moving up. You know, there's, there's a um, line in one of the hypnotherapy processes that I do, that's you, you look behind you, you turn around, you look behind you energetically. So on the inner plane, if you will, in your mind, and you feel the past behind you moving further and further behind you. You feel the space between your past and your present. And you look ahead and in front of you and you see your future moving upward and onward. And that's what you need to do. So the the pitfalls of the past are leaving the, 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 the potholes, the pitfalls, the, you know, the, the twists and turns or being held back Saturn energy, whatever you've learned through that is creating the upward and onward. So you need to start connecting into that energy that I'm moving upward and onward. Okay. You're moving on from something. There's something that you're trying to detangle from or wind out of. Um, some of you, I do feel it could be very beneficial to do a, a, a salt bath, bath salt, Epsom salt, to do a cleansing. Maybe even put like little rock salt or little crystal chips around um, the perimeter of your house or your yard or just in the corners just to energetically detach. Um, even lemongrass or lemon, um, that will help you, and especially lemon or lemongrass with a little bit of lavender. That's great for cleansing and clearing and detaching. Um, because I feel like there's old energy, previous energy that's on you that you need to, to move on from. Energy from other people or such situations. You know, there's a little bit of residue there. So aromatherapy bath could be helpful. Um, again, with lemon, with a little bit of lavender, uh, just very little. Rosemary also is good for purging and clearing. Also is good for healing, especially the muscles. So that can be very um, soothing for you also. Look at that Saturn structure. But all this limitation is moving you into a space of 
um, abundance. So you've had to get clear on a higher self level, the higher self coming in and really purifying the little self through things being cut out, maybe certain people being cut out of your life, certain relationships you're not around or you're not spending as much time, certain activities. You might have felt you're in your own dark night of the soul. Even though this is dreams, you might have felt a bit isolated. That's all been part of the plan from your higher self and spirit. And you've got Saturn again. So this is because you're creating a different structure based on the synergy within you to realign or align better to the soul signature frequency and your soul design so that now you're attracting from this synergy but you had to you had to get that synergy from within you with spirit you know you had to get the juice what i call soul juice you had to get the juice with you and the universe you had to get it within you to attract it externally to bring in that abundance now let's see what else is here yeah, there's been some opposition within you and also because you were like, oh, I want to move forward. I want to do this. I've got to do that. But I'm held back or I have to do this or I'm too tired now or I had to work. I had to do this. So there's been a lot of restriction. But look what's happening from that confrontation within that resistance. Resistance is part of change. We resist because when we resist, we go back in that what we call regressive pull. We go back two steps and then we realign from there, kind of reinforce, and then we move forward in that step. So the invitation for you is to move into the space of abundance, to free up. And what that does is it activates your life. Now, this activation is going to happen in different ways for different people. It's, it's a new direction, it's a new career direction, it's, you know, leaving one relationship for another or changing how it is, it's move, it's, it's just activated. It's activating the solar energy within you, which is the male principle. Same as Saturn. Saturn is father time. It's, so you're working a lot. I would say it's, you have been, but it really gets highlighted in April, probably especially with this reading between April and August that you are learning to work with the male principle, which is limitation. The, the feminine principle is expansive. It's undifferentiated energy. But when we start putting things into form, Saturn teaches us how to put things into form, how to put things into steps, one, two, three, A, B, C, chronological order, that there's an order to, there's a, an order in the universe. There's also undifferentiated energy in the universe. Uh, from which to create with, but you're getting this amazing invitation to build upon the structure that you have and activate your life, to move into more activity onward and upward, to move, to motivate, you know, to, to move onward and upward, to activate, to consciously activate yourself. It's almost like you're coming out of this slumber. I am getting a little tiny crossover here from Soul Story number three. I think you have the structure in and you might have been opposing the changes or the limitation and you've been looking at it as something was wrong, but spirit has held you back. That spirit aspect of you, the higher self, you've held yourself back from that higher vibrational frequency you to better prepare the ego personality you, your life, what's around you so that you can attract differently. Okay. This is all about attracting differently, drawing in from the higher vibrational aspect, from abundance, living from what we call the overflow or the goblet, the cup, the cup of life, connecting into the Holy Grail. Okay, I'm going to take those. So you're probably, after this cycle, you're going to be maybe even more confrontive of people or of yourself challenging yourself challenging ideas you know if something doesn't seem to work or make sense you're going to want to know why or how do i change it how do i fix it okay so you're coming from that space of the magician 
having everything you need within you. This is about changing your world, but you've had to do it bit by bit. You've had to do it slowly because it doesn't change overnight. You had to put a, you've had to put a new structure in. Three of cups. There we go. Abundance. This is soulful friends that have helped you. For some of you, this is the spirit guide, your spirit team on the other side. They want you to communicate more with them, spend more time. And of course, we go into that seven of swords. And I'm going to talk about that because you're in a time of strategizing. That's also the Saturn energy. It's not time to come out with everything that you're doing. If you, if you haven't yet launched it or put it all together, it's not time to speak about it. It's not time to call people's attention to it. It's the time to strategize, to make the decisions, to see where is the most synergy. Where is the universe actually wanting you to go? Where are you being guided by your higher self in that universal flow because that's going to bring you the most activation which also brings you the most abundance the most prosperity the most financial stability and financial freedom freedom to do more with what you have okay and so once you're strategizing you start getting that energy you start getting this is all about a communication with yourself your own higher self. That, that's a very important relationship for you right now to really listen, pay attention to the guidance, to the messages that you're getting and not to over, I, I just heard, don't spill it all out. Okay. So, and then you move into the Son of Cups or Page of Cups. Again, it, this is just a beginning. So there's a new cycle that's starting and we could look at it astrologically as, of course, Pluto and Aquarius, uh, Saturn and Neptune in Pisces, that Chiron, um, you know, Venus in, you know, there's just a lot of beginning. Venus in Aries, uh, Mars will soon come, you know, come there. Um, Uranus conjunct Jupiter, there, there, there's, there's these big cycles 15, 20 year cycles, eight year cycles. There's these big cycles that are coming in. And so you're at the beginning. It's like, okay, we got to clean out stuff that we don't want to bring. It's like when you're going on a great trip or holiday or vacation, you don't bring everything. You know, hopefully you bring what makes you comfortable and then what you want to wear. Maybe you bought some new things to wear. You know, you want to bring maybe audio books or whatever it is. So you're not bringing everything with you on this level. And so your higher self is really trying to help you through intuition and kind of your gut knowing what you're feeling to let go of certain things or get rid of certain things. And again, April, it's going to be necessary. I actually even see someone traveling and they're bringing too much stuff and they're weighed down and they're saying, oh, I shouldn't have brought all of this or I can only bring this or there's only this much room to bring this. So really watch your life in April. It's going to reflect a lot of what's going on internally with you, the inner state of your being and what you're going through and what you're learning and how you're shifting. You're going to see that reflected in an outer level. And that also has to do with that page of cups there. So that page of cups is this opening to ab abundance. The abundance that you are within you and the abundance of the universe and therefore also the world, the abundance of earth, right? So when you start seeing that there is an abundant earth, abundant world, abundant universe, you are tapping into that. But you already have the structure there. We need both. We need the expansion, but we also need the contraction, you know, we need healthy limits or boundaries. We need to have a good foundation when you're building a house. You build it on a foundation. So you're kind of learning that and extending out. And so whatever you're about to launch or put out there in the world, it's still, I feel, not yet completed, not yet finished. But you're in the process of finishing it. You're in the process of wrapping it up. And you're watching, you're observing should I go this way? Should I do this? Should I integrate this? This person's doing that. This group's doing that. This company, maybe I should do this. So you're really looking at things and bringing them back in you to feel out 
is this the juice? Is this the magic? Is this where I want to go? Is this the direction I'm truly being guided in? So I do feel on some level that you're really focused on some goal, um, attaining this goal, creating this, this dream of yours, this vision, making it manifest so that you can live it out. And this page of cups is also bringing in sensitivity of feelings. So you may need to be a little more sensitive at this time to the people that are around you that may not be operating at the level that you're operating. It's almost like you literally, the Son of Cups or Page of Cups archetypally is, uh, what is it, Parsifal. The holy, it represents the Holy Grail. Uh, similar to Ace of Cups does, all, does also, but it's this offering. And so I feel like you've had this epiphany or it's like discovering electricity or something. There's something that you have really discovered in your life that others around you aren't seeing or haven't seen yet. So you're going to have to have a little bit of patience is what I'm being guided to tell you. Um, and that's also that Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords is the diplomat. So some of you, it's the abundance of friends, of good family, of a great relationship, of, of, of meaningful work. This is what your soul is guiding you to is the abundance of meaning and purpose okay this has a lot to do with meaning and purpose so you may be you're being watched you're being observed for where you're at people are wondering what are they doing what's going on you know what what are they re really doing or how are they doing this you know because i feel a lot of people are abuzz right now what's going on what's going on in the world what's what is so-and-so doing because people can sense that we're in a flux and flow there's a lot that's going to be up leveling and changing and a lot of redirecting of energy. A lot of people are going to be drawn in, you know, or catapulted in new directions. But for you, if you connect into the feeling energy of your body and really listening to your body and how your body is feeling and what your body needs and, and emotional care, that kind of thing, um, you know, having patience and compassion for yourself and for others you're going to do really well because you're really working on this energetic level. There's a lot that has to do with the energy of a situation or the energy um, between you and another individual. And whatever it is that you're letting go of or cutting out or cutting back on, there's a reason for that. Yeah, and the reason is because something's changing. A lot of you are recognizing that you are, not, not that you've been in the cocoon, that's been a long time ago. You're coming out of the cocoon, but that you are this butterfly and you're understanding the stages of your changes. So that's what's leading your energy this month is that butterfly energy. And if you look at the butterfly, um, I'm also getting deer, which is gentleness. To be gentle with yourself and with others. Again, don't push butterflies you know fly many 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 miles thousands of miles so and in deers are very fast but they're also very gentle um, they can be a little skittish too you know so that's kind of this fox energy now i also get this has to do with career so this could be some kind of new direction or a new level that's you know a, a, on your career that brings much more emotional fulfillment getting that you're moving more in a direction that feels right for you on your path all right soul light well that's your reading for april if you want to dive deeper um get a get a bit more detailed you can uh click the link and connect with me on patreon for the extended um really for this reading to connect in with the butterfly a deer um i think is that cheetah and there's also an infinity sign there. Boom. But I don't like the butterfly. You're in this amazing transformative process. So you've had to go through the stages of the butterfly and you're coming out the other side. Um, that you're just not going to want to be as constrained going into the future. Uh, some of you, this does mean a new direction coming in that gives you a lot of emotional support, connection, and emotional fulfillment. 
All right, your soul insights mantra to support you on your path is... I am connected to divine right timing. My life is transforming in this divine right timing as I am being led by my higher self, by my very own inner guidance. Wow. All right, soul light, lots of love and light.